Ready to Love season four, honeys. How long, ladies, how long will you give a man to marry you? How long will you give a man to marry you? One year, two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years. You see my new book, 10 Years a Girlfriend. Be sure to check 10 Years a Girlfriend out on Amazon. It is my brand new book, Show Me Love. A lot of you said, James, I love your content. Girl, you always have me rolling over in, in stitches, falling out on the floor. Show Me Love by watching my videos and the commercials over here, but also my book, 10 Years a Girlfriend. So we see Kyra uh, and Liz meet with uh, Jace's friend. Watch my my content, my video I did on church girls. Stop being so spiritual. Okay. This video, I want to talk about how after Liz left, Kyra was talking to Jason's friends and the friend asked him, uh, what are your goals? What, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Single ladies that is dating for marriage. This is one question you need to learn to answer and answer it appropriately. And you need to sign up for my mentoring class so that I can help you. Okay. You need to have a one year goal, two year goal, five year, 10 years. You need to be able to say, these are my goals. Okay. And so Kyra said, I want to be married in the next five years. Jason friend says, well, you know, things don't always happen the way we want them to happen. So what if y'all is together for five years and you're not married yet? Kyra said, bro, by five years, you should know that I am the one. I totally agree with her. Now, in my comment section, I did a video. I forgot what the video is about. But I saw a lot of ladies say, oh, I'm only giving him two years. I'm only giving him three years. I'm only giving him five years. And my question was, do you have two years to give a man to see if he's going to marry you? Do you have a year? Do you have five years? Do you have six years? And ladies, just think about it. If every man you meet and date, you have two years to give him and say, well, I'm going to give you two years to make a decision if you're going to marry me. And you don't get married till man number 10. That's 20 years of your life you're wasting to see if men want to marry you. Huh? Does I mean, it's foolishness. If you really think about it, you meet me, Pookie. Pookie, I'm giving you two years to see if you decide me. Pookie don't marry you in two years. Most women will wait for Pookie to get ready to marry them, which is why y'all need to go pick up my book, 10 Years a Girlfriend, okay? Okay, let's say you walk away from Pookie because Pookie didn't marry you from for two years, but most women will stay and try to wait for Pookie and pressure him into marrying them, okay? You leave Pookie, you go over here to Ray Ray. Ray Ray, I'm only giving you two years to marry, okay? They, two years to marry. Most people will stay with Ray Ray and, uh, you know, you already popped out a baby. So you're trying to stay with Ray Ray to see if Ray Ray's gonna marry, okay? That's two years for you. you let's say you decide, well, I ain't gonna stay for Ray Ray, Ray, Ray marry me. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go over here to Johnny. You say, Johnny, I'm giving you two years if you're gonna marry me. Okay, two years, Johnny ain't married. Most women will stay with Johnny because you don't let had Pookie, Ray Ray, and Johnny. Johnny ain't married you, okay? Johnny ain't married you in two years. You run over here and you say over to Ricky. Ricky, I'm giving you two years to decide you're going to marry. So now you don't have two, four, six, eight, waiting for men to make a decision about you if they're going to marry you. Ladies, I want you to renew your mind on dating. That is not what dating is. Dating is not meeting a man and telling him, I'm giving you two years to make a decision about me. No, no, no. Dating is about gathering the data so that you can make an informed decision. This is why you want to run over to Amazon and pick up my book, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet. Because in this book, there are a lot of guys that you will meet that's looking for a nurse or purse. He's looking for somebody to fix him up. He's looking for somebody to build him up. He's looking for somewhere to live and all of that stuff. And you don't want to waste your time with men, giving men all the, wasting your time with all these men to see if they decide about you. When you have a boyfriend, I don't believe in boyfriends. I don't believe in being exclusive. What you are doing, beloved, is you are allowing this man to take you off the show floor and put you all the way in the back, in the corner, on layaway, where nobody else can see you. And you're sitting there and you're waiting to see 
when is he going to marry me? While he's still out here shopping around to see if he finds something better, because that's what men do. She all right, you know, she good, the sex is good, she's all right. You know, we just hanging right now. You know, she, we know she keep me warm at night. You're the space saver, because he's over here looking for the one. Proverbs says, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. So if Pookie found you and Pookie realized that you are a good thing, please tell me why Pookie would leave you and not put a ring on your finger so that another man don't come and find you and say you're his good thing. I have a book coming talking about that. He that finds a wife. Because you know what my daddy tell me? You are not a wife when you stand at the altar and get married. <clears throat> you are a wife. You are supposed to grow up as a wife. You're supposed to have the mentality, the behavior, the characteristics of a wife. The Bible say he that finds a wife. It didn't say he that finds a girlfriend, he that finds a baby mama, he that finds a, a, a friend, he that finds a mama, uh -uh, he that finds a wife. So when the men find you, you're supposed to be a wife. So you're wasting your time with Pookie, Ray Ray, Ricky, and Johnny to see if they're going to marry you. And you're just allowing this time to go by and you not coming to yourself, wait a minute now. He that finds a wife, finds a good thing, obtain favor over life. If I'm a good thing, why don't he want to marry me? Why hasn't he put a ring on my finger so somebody else don't come and find me? Because guess what, people, men are still looking. You know why he hasn't done it? Because you are not his good thing. The moment he finds you and realize you're his good thing, he want to lock you down, honey. Think about the house, think about the car. You find the house, uh-uh, run down to the realtor, and put, uh, put a contract, write a check, put a deposit on it because you want it. Ladies, do not allow these men to waste your life and your time trying to decide about you. Run over to Amazon, pick this book, learn how to date, learn to gather data, sign up for my mentoring program because, honey, listen, women, we have a biological clock. We don't have time for 10, 15 years to see if Ray Ray's going to marry. My book, 10 Years a Girlfriend. Do you know how many women that's been waiting years for their man to marry them? Huh? You know, he said he going to marry me. You know why he has to marry you? You're not his good thing. My husband uh, proposed. Uh, <clears throat> he wanted to propose in June. Okay. Um. Uh, he in March, February, March, he asked, he said, I, you know, I want you to know I'm only exclusively dating you. Now we met in November. He didn't call me and take me out till December. He called me out in December when we went on our first date. Before we got through the dinner, he asked, Can I take you out again tomorrow? I said, No, I'm busy. Hello, ladies. Don't you give no man all your time, okay? Because what that is telling him, you ain't you you been sitting here waiting, child. You ain't got nothing else to do. He said, How about Wednesday? Can I take you out Wednesday? I said, sure. Wednesday come, we having dinner. He said, Can I take you out again tomorrow night? I said, No, I'm busy. He said, How about Friday? I say, Okay, sure, Friday. He said, can I take you out for breakfast tomorrow? I said, uh, initially I said no. He said, because I have to fly out of town on on um on Sunday. So I said, okay, we'll have to, we have breakfast and walk around and stuff. Because at that time I know he's serious. So I took him to the park, walk him, you know, see if he can keep up with his gyms, okay? So December, December, took him to my uh, uh, Christmas party, December, January. Going out, he asked to talk to my dad, February. Uh, I think it was about February, I asked to talk to my dad. He said, I want to only exclusively date you, February, March. So December, January, February. I ain't asking no questions. That's not my man. Because you know what my daddy tell me? A man always have somebody. So what took him three months to say, well, I just want to exclusively date you. I'm sure he got other the other ones that, he was, you know, whatever. And he meet this girl and it's like, she is the one. He met my dad, talked to my dad, told my dad, I'm going to marry your daughter. Uh, you know, she's a good one. But okay, we're going to see. Uh, March, April, he tells me, I love you.
And I said, mm, thank you, because I wasn't finished getting the data. And so in June, when he was getting ready to go away for the summer conference, he said, if you had told me you love me in April, I was going to propose to you in June. So that's March, April, May, June, he was going to propose. I didn't tell him, so he proposed for my birthday. And there's a beautiful story about why he waited for my birthday. He proposed October, my birthday, October 11th. He wanted to get married December. And I asked, I said, why are you rushing trying to get married? He said, I didn't want nobody to come up underneath me and take you away from me. Do you understand, ladies? When you are his good thing and he see that you're the good thing, he's going to hurry up and marry you and take you off the market he, because he don't want to risk taking the chance of somebody else coming to take you away from him. And I had a ring on my finger. He put a big old beautiful ring on my finger. Look at my daddy. Look at the ring. He said, he said, boy, you all right. So even with the ring on my finger, he was rushing to get to the altar because he said, listen, you are my blessing. He tells me that every day. He said, you are my blessing. You are my good thing. I didn't want nobody else to come take you up from under, under the me and marry you all. So you want to tell me. I met, got engaged, dated, got engaged in less than a year. And you've been with your boyfriend for 10 years and you still wait for Pookie to marry you. Girl, you stupid. I got to go. You know, I don't like to tell people this, but that's stupid, girl. I got to go. I love you. 10 Years a Girlfriend is over on Amazon. Pick that up for me. Uh, and of course, my other books. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.